another demonstration of resonance just uses an aluminium rod and some rosin. Just a type of rosin that a violin musician would use on their bows. And in this case, what we're going to try and do is match the natural frequency of the rod with our fingers going up and down. So it's a bit like if you can push a person in a swing at just the right frequency, corresponding to the natural frequency of the swing, the amplitude will increase. We don't normally think of things, even though we learn that sound is caused by vibrations, we don't normally think about things vibrating. But if I drop this, it makes a distinct sound, right? And that distinct sound is corresponding to the frequency at which all the molecules are vibrating. So in this case, what I want to do is get those molecules, get those atoms, not so much molecules, get the atoms in there vibrating at just the right frequency at which, uh, I, sorry, I want to get them vibrating at a frequency at which they would normally vibrate in order to create the sound. In other words, if I do something like this, you're not getting any noticeable sound off of it. These molecules are vibrating a little bit more quickly, but there's no fixed pattern, there's no fixed rate. If I can get them to vibrate at their natural frequency, the amplitude should increase. If the amplitude increases, how do we notice amplitude increasing? In sound. What is it about a sound that will change if it's amplitude of the it would get louder. So that's what I want to do here. I want to increase the amplitude. And in this case, as I move my finger down, it's going to slip and then stick because of the friction. So that's what the powder does. Slips and sticks, slips and sticks. And if I get that at just the right frequency to match the frequency at which this vibrates, the whole thing should get louder. Here we go. Three, two, one. No big deal, but it's certainly a little bit noticeable. I think that by itself is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can do. Thank you very much, Dara. One person <laughs> thinks that this is pretty cool. So again, that's your example of resonance. You're transferring energy between two objects such that I'm making this guy vibrate at its natural frequency. And if I get this just right, what you really got here is a standing wave. And you got your anti-nodes and you got the nodes. So this is a place where you've no vibration. This would be a place where you've maximum vibration over here. I can also, there should be another node. I should be able to get a standing wave like this, where this is a node and my anti-nodes are maybe here and here. Not too sure what the exact mathematical pattern is, not too sure where it is, but it should at this stage, if I can get it vibrating at twice the frequency, you should notice the frequency, this pitch being twice as much. So where we go, I've got to get this pretty close to spot on to where the node wants to be. And we'll go one more time, drop it down here a little bit. Yep, pretty close. So you're getting a frequency at twice what it was the previous time. <laughs> I think we're done. Thank you very much. That's another